the right medical knowledge and expertise in the right hands at the right time could save millions of lives around the world. My name is Sanjeev Arora. I'm a liver disease specialist in New Mexico. In 2003, more than 28,000 New Mexicans had hepatitis C. And my clinic was the only one in the state dedicated to treating this disease. My wait list to see patients was eight months long and people were dying while waiting for treatment. Treatment that might have cured many of them. And that's why I started Project ECHO. Through ECHO, we created a virtual community of practice that resulted in 21 new centers of excellence equipped to treat hepatitis C in New Mexico's rural communities. My wait fell to two weeks and tens of thousands of patients got treatment. But that was only the beginning. Today, ECHO partners in 40 countries operate more than 860 ECHO learning networks, addressing dozens of health problems ranging from hepatitis C and TB to cancer and HIV. In ECHO programs, all teach and all learn. It works like this. Teams of experts at regional medical centers called hubs use video conferencing to engage with local healthcare providers, the spokes, in weekly, ongoing, knowledge sharing, case-based learning and telementoring, hubs and spokes learn from each other so that everyone's knowledge is constantly improving. Equipped with this new knowledge and support, on the ground health workers have the expertise they need to treat patients with serious and difficult conditions. When the coronavirus pandemic struck, we pivoted our resources towards meeting the COVID-19 threat in countries around the world. In 2020, ECHO programs trained hundreds of thousands of health professionals in the COVID-19 response. But we need to do much more, and especially in Africa and India, where demand for ECHO is so high, and especially now as the COVID-19 pandemic further strains health systems in these places. In Africa, 33 hub partners in 14 African countries operate ECHO programs in areas such as HIV, epi surveillance, and laboratory strengthening. In 2020, these partners trained over 50,000 program participants. When COVID started in Namibia, we were not starting from ground zero. We had ECHO already that has been running since 2015. And within a short period of time, we had managed to train hundreds of healthcare providers in COVID case management, infection prevention and control. We also use ECHO to provide continuity of care. So clinical cases could still be coming. Even when there was a lockdown, cases could still be discussed and patients were still being managed. Operations in India began in 2008. Through ECHO India branch office in Delhi, 47 hub partners operate programs with state and national institution partners. They've trained hundreds of thousands of participants, including for COVID-19 response, helping millions of patients. Well, we had these networks. So when Corona or COVID stuck, we leveraged these networks and used them. And I'm very happy to report that we have trained over 330,000 healthcare workers in COVID. And that was simply by leveraging our existing networks. Yet, more needs to be done. In Africa, the pandemic has disrupted routine care and treatment for conditions like HIV and TB, as well as screening for cancer and other diseases. These indirect impacts will have dire long-term results on community and global health, unless they are addressed now. India's need for quality healthcare is immense. With 1.3 billion people, India carries 20% of the world's disease burden. Health disparities between rural and urban areas are stark. And now that we have a vaccine, we must prepare a global vaccine workforce. In addition to providing massive training to health workers, we will need to build trust with communities so that they agree to get vaccinated. We want to scale up ECHO in Africa and India to meet the immediate threat of COVID-19 while building a strong foundation for stronger and more resilient health systems over the long term. These are the systems needed to address future pandemics and eliminate healthcare disparities. With your backing, 
Project ECHO can have massive impact. With a $1 million investment, we will train 30,000 healthcare workers in India or Africa. With $5 million, we will train 150,000 healthcare workers. And with a $10 million investment, we can train 300,000 healthcare workers and help strengthen health systems. At ECHO, we have a goal of touching 1 billion lives by ensuring that all people, regardless of where they live, can get the care they need when they need it. And we invite you to join us and our partners on our mission of saving and improving lives around the world.